Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. This is a really fun video series that I run every single Saturday, and what it does is it serves as a great place for me to update the community on anything that I've been working on, and also it's a great place for the community to share anything that they have been working on. As always, if you have any updates that you would like to see shared next week, please drop them in the comment section below, and I'll try to share them next week. I really love to read everyone's comments in all of my videos, and I really like to try to share anything that anyone would like to have me share. So I'd like to first start off this week's Locksport update by just going over. I think it was really cool going over the karate belt system last week. I thought that that was a lot of fun, and that was something that was pretty cool. So if you feel like that is a topic that you would like me to go over in more detail in a future video, just please let me know in the comment section below, and I'd love to be able to hear your feedback on that topic. But what I'm going to do to start off this week's Locksport update is I just want to go over a package that I got and from Legal Lockpicker. I've already opened up the package, but I'm just going to share a few of the things. So the first thing that I got inside the package was a set of picks from Banggood. I don't know how they're going to fare, but I think that will be a cool thing to check out and just see. Then the next thing is going to be a, another set from Banggood as well. What's interesting about this set is it is just a handle, I mean like the tip of the pick, and there's no handle on them. And when you look up closely, since this is see-through, you can see that they look like they're the same exact picks. I'm not exactly sure how useful these are, but I have them and they will be cool just to try out down the road. Now, the third thing I got in is a set of picks from Mad Bobs. These are going to be really cool to try out. They look like they are going to be some sort of hybrid rakes, and that is going to be pretty cool. They look like they're, what's that, 0.6 millimeters. And I haven't opened them up yet, but I just wanted to share that these came in, and that is a pretty cool thing to have. I just want to interrupt for a quick second because I did not put two and two together. So the picks that were sent to me here by Legal Lock Picker, the Mad Bob's picks, these actually complete the Ghost Pro set that he sent me before, because I mentioned that I was missing a couple picks out of this set. So once I'm able to combine these picks right into here, I will have a full Ghost Pro set, which I feel is really, really cool, especially since Mad Bob's is starting to stop making their production picks, and now I'm going to have a complete set forever. Once again, Legal Lock Picker, thank you so much for this, but let's get right back to the update. The next thing is a Euro Lock that was sent to Legal Lock Picker um, by Lock Noob, I believe he said. It's a Milla lock. Not exactly 100% sure about them, never really dealt with one, but this is going to be a pretty cool Euro cylinder to have. I don't have a whole lot of them, and if anything, it will be fun to learn to take apart and get more comfortable with that. Then he sent me just a really cheap generic one, which will just be a fun lock to just kind of play around with. Um, it's probably nothing special, but it will be cool to have, so if you do mess around with it and break it, it won't be the end of the world. And then I'd like to just finish up with one really cool thing is going to be this pick right here. This is a pick that Legal Lock Picker said that was made by Bosnian Bill, and he said that he emailed him and he was able to confirm it. So it does have a very weird um, shape to the hook, but one thing that's really interesting about this is the thickness of the pick itself. I'm going to get out my caliper here, and you're going to see just how crazy thin this is. This is by far the thinnest I've ever owned. You know, ten thousandths of an inch, and it's pretty much consistent going down the entire pick for the most part. So that is just a really cool thing to have. I'm not exactly sure how strong it's going to be when it comes time to trying to pick open a lock with it, but I find that is just going to be a really cool thing to have for the times that you will need it. So I want to say, Legal Lock Picker, again, 
thank you very much for sending out all of these cool things. It's going to be a really, really fun thing to work on. And if you guys haven't checked out Legal Lock Picker before, what I'm going to do is roll a quick clip of his channel so you can check him out. Hey guys, Legal Lock Picker here. It seems like we've reached an impasse. I happen to have acquired this uh, package from the Lock Lab LLC through, and I quote, non unsavory methods of procurement. <laughs> I got, I was talking to Bosnian Bill, and I had mentioned to him about uh, um, my jackknife uh, experiment that I'm doing here, the review, and it's, and he happened to. Well, I'm just going to have to show you. And uh, by the way, you might want to hang around for this, especially if you like giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out Legal Lock Picker. He is a really great member of our community. If you'd like to get to know him further, I recommend you checking out his channel, and I'll put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Legal Lock Picker, thank you again for all of the continued support, and it has been really been great getting to know you. The next thing I'm going to mention is a channel that left a comment in the comment section last week that I've not heard of before, but they have heard of me. The channel is Half Zip. In his comment, he feels that I have been able to really help influence him to get into Locksport, not just my channel alone, but Bosnian Bill, Lockpicking Lawyer. And I just want to say that it is really great just to see all of these great supportive channels out there to really help people get started in Locksport. I just want to say, Half Zip, thank you so much for the kind words. But he has a very small channel, and he could use some support. What I'm going to do is roll a very quick clip of the channel right now so you can check it out. Hey, you're watching Half Zip, the Lock Picking Welder. On today's episode, I'm going to be picking and gutting this Master Lock Model 911 for my green belt on the Lock Picking subreddit. Come check us out at reddit.com slash r slash lock picking. Okay, I'm going to be using top of the keyway tension. Does this thing just doesn't like anything but that? I'm going to be using this flat bar from Sparrows. And I'm going to be using this high reach hook also from Sparrows in 25 thousandths. Big counter rotation on four. And we got it open. Oh my god. There we fucking Jesus. So many times. This stupid thing has popped out, and it's just absolutely killed me. Um, wow. Okay. Well, got it open. Now for the uh, now for the next part, the next fun part, we're gonna do. We're gonna get this bad boy. Thank you so much for checking out Half Sip. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by them, what I'm gonna do is I'll put a link on the top here so you can check them out and consider subscribing. The next thing I'd like to mention this week is Lowell Forbes. Lowell Forbes informed us last week that he was going for his orange belt on r slash lockpicking, and he has confirmed that he has gotten it. I just want to say big congratulations to you. It is really cool to see everyone progress, and if anyone would like to share their progress on the karate belt system, I'd be really happy to share that with everyone. That is a really cool thing to have, and just being able to watch your skill set grow. But what I'm going to do is roll a quick clip of Lowell Forbes' channel so you can check them out. Hey guys, I just realized my last video about my little Avis twins here. I did not show the keys. Um, anyway, that's the one. There's the other one nasty on that one but I mean they're cute little locks might be fun for uh, lockers at work or something um, I was going through my extra toolbox and came across this old pretty shiny Brinks but oh no key Oh, what to do? There is only a way. <laughs> I 
feels like it has a spool. Probably about two or three. There she goes. Thank you so much for checking out Lowell Forbes. If you enjoyed what you saw, you would like to see more content by him. What I'm going to do is I'll put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. The next channel I'd like to mention this week is Thumper's Lock Picking. Thumper just mentioned in the comment section that he'd like to have a quick shout out. Thumper has been very involved in the Locksport community. He did have a little hiatus for a little while, but he's back and he is strong. And he just wanted me to share his channel. What I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check out his channel and consider subscribing. Now, what I'd like to finish up this week is just by mentioning the farewell to Mad Bob's lock picks. I do have a few picks by him, but I just want to say that this is a really cool thing to have. I have this and I have the other set that I have shown in previous videos. I just want to say that Mad Bob's is a really cool lock picking set to get and it's just so sad to see that he is going to stop mass producing his picks. Cheap competition like Banggood and other sites like that have just made it harder for him to be able to keep his products coming. But I just want to say that if anyone would like any last minute deals, check out Mad Bob's website and check out his Twitter and you might be able to find something. But either way guys, this is all I have for you this week. If you have any questions or suggestions at all, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day. And thank you so much for checking this out. I'll see you all next Saturday in next Saturday's Oxport update.